Today's testing shall be Compass Box, the Pete Monster. Okay, Tammy is going to pour. Can I smell it? Sure. Well, well, you should wait, okay. unless you're going to form an opinion right now. Actually, why am I sitting here? I should, I should go up there. Come over here. Okay, I will after you pour. sat down and whoo! There's a reason why they call it Pete Monster. So before we drink we have to have we have to say a big thank you to um is it lost again? Uh, Don. Um we were talking about the Glen Karen glasses that we didn't have them in the last video. That's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody sent us a little present so thank you very much Don. So this, this video was dedicated to you we haven't come up with any fancy nicknames for them, except for liquor lovers, or, you know, I don't, I don't even know, but <laughs> anyways, we'll come up with it. So, oh my god, I can just smell it from here. So there's a reason why this is called the Peak Monster. If anyone has actually drank whiskey, some whiskeys are, <sighs> I don't, you explained it. You, you said it tastes like band-aids, and it's smoky, and heavy, and you just... And I, we're not even close, and I can smell that in here. So this is going to be unique tasting. <laughs> All right, so let's do a little smell. Let's do a little smell, smell, and uh, let you know what we smell. <laughs> okay, so first, I think my palate has just ever so slightly been refined. So I don't think it's band-aid anymore, as much as it's like, would you say like? Fire, like wood. I'm getting like, like burning. My oh, the cat. The cat might mess with the tripod cat. right now. Yes. No. Yes. It smells like cat. Oh god, that'd be horrible. Um, I'm smelling besides that heavy iodine and band aid, yeah. uh, which is the peat. I'm smelling like spices, like uh, like something you would throw in to make a fruit cake or something like that. I feel very refined with these glasses. <laughs> What'd you do? I'm looking at my notes though. Oh, she's cheating. I'm not supposed to cheat. It's definitely it's like a like a if you're to make a spicy fruit cake. It's warm. It's something warm. I feel warm. Okay. <laughs> feel warm. You're gonna feel warm inside pretty soon. Okay. Do you want to taste, Nancy? No. Let's do it. Just take it. Take it. Drink it. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Mm -mm. It's a very slow burn too. It's like when you first take it in, it's okay, and then right now I just feel it going down to my stomach, just a slow burn, like a fuse. <laughs> yeah, that weird PD flavor. I hated it to begin with, but this. No, it's actually not as yeah. It's, it's not a little, it's milder, isn't it? Yeah, it's not too bad. But I definitely, I still take taste like sweet spices. Um. <laughs> definitely tastes like the medicine cabinet. It tastes like dirt, like you like to say. All right, I'm gonna go with the um, some honey because it, it just tastes sweet and warm to me. I'm so sorry, I, I feel wrong. these faces when she says that, but that's what she's tasting. Sorry. I'm bad. Well, I'm trying to figure out what the sweet would be. I don't know if I taste so... sweet. So... Like... Do you taste lemon? <gasps> okay. I got it. Hmm. Like a cough drop. Like a honey cough drop. Honey lemon cough drop. Rolled in grass. It's, it's thrown in the fire. It's peppery too. Okay. All I do is the spice and it's hot. It's almost like spicy. Like I'm getting like a um, like a burn. 
and it's beyond the alcohol. Hey, did you want to try it with a splash of water to open it up? Okay. <laughs> We're trying all sorts of ways. Okay, so Either I guess you can drink it with water, water, ice, and then they said um, seltzer water, kind of thing, right? No. Bubbly yeah. water? We're not going to do that. I'm okay. going to try to get a drop of water in somehow. Okay. Just a splash and then we'll swish it before we run out of it. Mm. Don't give me too much. Go for it. God, the, the spice is so overwhelming. It's very bold. I would, I would use that word. It's very bold. And it, but the, the, the spice in the peat is so strong. I'm not getting the other notes if there are any. I'd like to sit by the fire and drink this. It okay. is smoky. What about cinnamon? Would cinnamon cause the, the burn? I don't taste cinnamon. I'll taste it. But ashes, totally. That's why I, when you said fireplace, I'm like, yeah, it's like drinking some of the ashes. <laughs> That's the smokiness of it. The water pump it down. Yeah, what the water it down. I'm Jen. just gonna stick with what, what I said. There's probably a bunch of layers. <coughs> what, what would warm spices be? Wow. Like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go now, I don't know. I don't like it as much with the water. Really? Why? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It, it, I don't know. It just gives it this weird aftertaste. But, oh my god. <laughs> I'm sure, you, I don't know if they've seen the cats wander around in the background. Yeah, this is not, um, let's read a little bit from the back. Oh god, the peat monster. A peaty, smoky sm scotch malt whiskey, unlike any other peaty, smoky scotch malt whiskey. That's because it's our own blend of single malt whiskeys created with a style no single distillery can create. Ugh, I don't like the aftertaste. Um, this is a malt whiskey brimming with peat smoke character. Okay, we've heard that a lot. And uh, accented by delicate notes of fruit and baking spice! But baking spice is not pepper! I said spice it's several times. I said, I said, I said, you won't watch it back. I'm going to see how many times I put this in spice. Um, I said fruitcake spice. Stop. Um, it is a balanced and full on palate. And with a sweet impression and a very long finish. It's a very long finish. It's still finishing. Oh. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, sometimes we like drinking it with an ice cube or a splash of water, but well, we just read that earlier. Um, they didn't say about anything about barrel, so I don't know what barrel they use it in. Well, when we look it up. Yeah, it's this complex peaty, but smoky. I said sweet. I don't get sweet from this, but oh, it's still burning. Woo! So, we'll go look it up and. Uh, see if we're right or not. <coughs> By the way, a little plug. This is from the, those of you who follow my hiking park adventures. A little book I wrote on uh, the PCT for Section A that I completed in 2019. <laughs> Cheers to you. Cheers. Slante? Slante? Close? I don't know. Slancha. That's it. Slancha. Okay. Another peat monster. Bacon. Bacon. I do not. Maybe if you fry it. Damn it. Uh, uh, pop ups. Okay. So on the nose, peat. Duh. Mark salinity. Okay. What is marked salinity? Uh, salty. Leans to uh, uh ca ila style. Something medicinal. Yes, definitely. But, yeah. Sweet, fruity. When well, you got the fruit. I got the medicine and, and sweet. And the grainy. Grainy. Yeah. On the palate, peat, oak. Botanicals, floral, coppery, sweet smoking bacon, hints of papaya. I did not get that at all. Bacon. I get the bacon, yes. Um, maybe a little bit of floral because it tastes like I've been drinking um, um, perfume. I totally taste like I've yeah. just had bacon. Mm, I get the perfume. Mm. Finish a lingering sweetness. Yes. More peat. Duh. Yeah. Floral, yes. Roses and violets. No. Yes, that's where the floral. I get that a little bit. Sweet spice. I said sweet. You said spice, but you said pepper. It was you said hot. definitely pepper. Yeah, but again, when you watch this back, you'll see I said a lot of other things. You too. did, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like like a fruitcake spice. I'm hot. That one made me hot. But yeah, yeah I, I do taste the floral. I taste like we've been chewing on roses now. In the dirt, because that's what it tastes like. <laughs> no, it tastes like I've been eating bacon rolled in dirt. 
Okay. <laughs> no, rolled in the rolled in the medicine cabinet in band aids. It's taped, wrapped up in band aids. Right. A little iodine on it. With the, the red stuff from when you got cut when you were a kid. Oh yeah, my, your mom makes a little happy face on it. Mercurochrome. Mercurochrome. I think that's iodine. what it's like. Yeah. Mercurochrome. I never drank it though. Did you? You drank it? <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys again for tuning in. And I don't think we had any bloopers this time to tag at the end, but... The whole um, thing is a blooper. The whole thing is always a blooper, right? <laughs> I hope I'm, like, giving you a shot. I don't know. It was over here. I don't know. We'll look back on it. All right, see you guys next time. Thanks!